Hi, my name is Cody Hosterman, and I'm a product manager here at Pure Storage, focusing on our VMware and cloud offerings. Today, what I'm going to be discussing is storage policy-based management, SPVM. You might have heard of this from a VMware perspective. This is VMware's framework for, well, managing storage and your configurations around your virtual machines and their virtual disks, whether those are VM-based workloads or containerized ones running within those virtual machines. Storage policy-based management is a framework for integrating the features of your storage platform. There are multiple types of storage policy-based management. There is tagging-based storage policy-based management for any data store type. There is storage policy-based management for your internal disk. This is called vSAN. There is storage policy-based management for your external storage. This is called virtual volumes or VVOLs. There's a variety of ways to implement storage policy-based management in a VMware way. But we're going to talk about the external storage portion of it because that's what we do. So when you're using SPVM, there's a variety of our features that you can now integrate on a per VM basis, or actually better than that, a virtual disk basis. So you have a virtual machine, and it has many virtual disks. The circles represent those disks. You can apply a storage policy-based management policy to the whole VM or individual disks. This policy is a collection of features. What are things that we support in our storage policy-based management on the flash array? Well, things like QoS, quality of service. This allows you to put uh, a limit of one meg per second or 100 or a gig per second on this volume or a thousand IOPS, or both. You can set these different levels to hold back what that particular virtual machine or virtual disk more specifically can do. And this can be set in the storage policy, so you can assign it en masse to a lot of virtual machines. We also support tags. Tags are a great way to track your resources, to provide chargeback within your storage policy on the flash array you can make sure that every one of these disks has a specific tag policy, key value pair. Owner is Cody. We also support snapshots. And it's not just about creating a snapshot, it's about retention policies, how frequently those snapshots are created, and what consistency group are they in. I want to snapshot these VMs and all their disks at the same time in a right consistent fashion. We can do that with our storage policy and our snapshot offering. Of course, we also support replication. Replication allows you to specify where you want to protect that virtual machine or that virtual disk at a remote location, a remote flash array. And these can all be assigned via storage policies within vSphere, providing a consistent way to use the features that the flash array offers at the granularity that matters to you. Also within our storage policies around placement, I want it to be on this array. I want it to be on this group of arrays. These are things can also be provided directly within our storage policies. Storage policy-based management is leveraged in newer features like Tanzu, but also in generic offerings around just storage, storage deployment through things like vRealize Automation, vRealize Orchestrator, or within the vSphere interface itself. Thanks for listening.